it's me, Rashid Ayub, Professor of Mathematics. Today I'm going to explain one of the most important topic, uh, how we can take the derivative of the absolute functions. Okay, let me take an example. What is the derivative of this absolute function? The derivative of this absolute function basically is equal to x absolute divided by x. I am further dividing this absolute function into three cases. First, case one, when x is equal to zero. Then remember students, the absolute at x equal to zero not exist because left hand limit does not equal to right hand limit of geometry that suppose this is x equal to zero okay at this point the differentiable of this absolute function is not exist because left hand limit and right hand limit not okay case 2 when x greater than 0 then the derivative of this absolute function is equal to 1 case 3 for x less than 0 the derivative of this absolute function is minus 1 ok now two more important points which we consider that 1 if function is not continuous at x is equal to a then it is not differentiable at x equal to p. The second one, if f of x is differentiable at x is equal to a then it is continuous at x is equal to a ok whenever left hand limit does not equal to right hand limit it indicates that function is not continuous at that point but when a function is differentiable at x is equal to a then it is continuous at that point Okay, now for example, you can perform at your form if y is equal to x minus 1 absolute, then at which point it is not differentiable. So, this absolute function at x is equal to 1 is not differentiable. Another example, if y is equal to x minus 2 absolute, then at which point this function is not differentiable? It is not differentiable. At x equal to 1, it is not differentiable. And similarly, x is equal to 2. This is not differentiable. And obviously, these two absolute function is not continuous. This is not continuous at x is equal to a 1. And this is not continuous at x is equal to 2. Two more important questions which has appeared in different address exams many times. Again and again and again. If y is equal to cos absolute, then it is not differentiable at x equal to which point. So remember students, all those points where absolute becomes zero, at that point 
the function of absolute is not differentiable okay the option a 2 pi option b pi option c 3 pi so d is the right answer because at this point cos become zero and if cos become zero uh, value of the cos become zero it means absolute become zero so absolute become zero indicate that function is not continuous at that point so d is the right option another question y is equal to absolute sin x and it is not differentiable for all x the answer is we have four option a b c d the right answer is d because on n pi sin x become zero indicates this absolute become zero so when this absolute become zero it indicates it is not continuous and if it it is not continuous it is not differentiable so these two questions has appeared many times in different exams many times many times many times hope you like my this video and you will able now to solve derivative of the absolute function thank you very much